Yeah, whiskey should probably kid you about another reaction video. Okay, today we got getting pants in school. Now, if you guys ever got pants in school, that has to be one of the top two most embarrassing things to happen to you in school. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, new channel, subscribe, and share the video. Okay. Heat it. See, it's one thing pulling a prank, but trying to embarrass me in front of the whole class while trying to make yourself look cool. Oh, hell no. So I pulled up my pants and said, fuck it. It's payback time. Hey, yo, bro, what's five fingers say to your face? Damn. Slap the shit out your bitch ass. Pranks are synonymous with high school. Sis and those kids need you to perform pranks on one another. Both of you, you're suspended. Oh no, Mr. Johnson, please let me live. Not suspended. My dad's gonna kill me. Now, for the most part, pranks are innocent. You get one over your friends. Next thing you know, man gives you the props because you got him. Yeah, some cool shit. Go a little too far. So much that they leave a scar deep. You for a lifetime, which leads us to my school. Where, according to the rules, no pranking. Period. Now, come on, my guy. We're talking kids here, and we all know rules are made to be broken. And Fast. that's the most infamous gaming prank in high school history. Dancing. Now, for the uninformed, dancing is the act of pulling down a person's pants. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm so pants. glad I never got that, that shit, bro. Prank or from a bully. And that one. It's where this story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take, take you, you back, back back to my prank, prank years. So it was a beautiful Monday morning. Now we're talking middle school years. Back when your boy was on demon time. See, at that time, pranking was a big deal. Students would put kick me sounds on each other's back. Others would super glue the teacher's chairs. But the biggest prank in my school was pantsing. What up, my damn job? Pulling down each other's In front of a female is crazy. But not in my day. See, times have changed, but back in the 2000s, pulling down one's pants was just jokes. So one day, your boy was chilling in class. Yo, tell him, check out Lisa, dog. She's looking mighty thick today. You should pants her. Me? Oh, that's oh, crazy. Passing the female's oh, crazy. You scared? Now to keep it real, I was scared. See, I had never pants a girl before. Usually, boys will pants boys. I bet you $20 you wouldn't do it. What? 20 bones? What? Now, $20 to a middle schooler, that's mad money. So I thought about it. Dollars goes a long way, my guy. All you gotta do is just go behind Lisa, pull her pants down, and run. But hold up, gotta see the buns first, my guy. I no, that's not crazy. So get up, got nice and ready, and this man comes from behind me and pants me. Oh, shit. Ball. See, Blake, they know the correct form of pantsing. According he pulled down your rules, balls? I'm supposed to only pull the pants. But this fool pulls so hard, my nuts hanging. So nah. Thank you got to beat that nigga ass, my What's nigga. <clears throat> but mm -mm, man started roasting me. Damn, damn, those draws mighty stuff, my guy. You rockin' tidy whitey? <laughs> Must be mighty cold outside, my boy. Hey, Jill, what do you call a penis that disappears? Oh, Magic Johnson? Yes, it ain't <laughs> That's oh, crazy. Right? Magic oh, Johnson? Heat it. See, it's one thing pulling a prank, but trying to embarrass me in front of the whole class while trying to make yourself look cool. Oh, hell no. So I pulled up my pants and said, fuck it. It's payback time. Hey, yo, bro, what's five fingers say to your face? Snuff buddy and Slap the fuck out of him. What is going on here? Mr. Johnson, tell me. Were you panting, Bruce? Well, he started it. Both of you, to my office. So we get to the office. Okay, boys, you know the rules. Zero tolerance for panting. That's automatic through the suspension. Damn, now I'm done, done. So onward, and I get to the crib. Now remember, this is the 2000s. Anytime you got in trouble in school, first, the principal calls the crib. If no one answers, he leaves a message. Now on to mission impossible. What you gotta do, delete you gotta the message? Get to the before your parents get to the house phone and delete any messages. So I get to the crib, check the messages, and there's no call. Okay, tell keep it cool. Mr. Johnson, you'll be calling any time now. A few moments go by, and just as expected, the phone starts ringing. All right, just be cool. Play it off. So I pick up the phone. Hello, Kate. Hello, hello. This is Mr. Johnson, Tim's school principal. Am I speaking to Tim's father? <laughs> sir, sir, please, please, beat that little <laughs> bad. So we get off the phone and mission accomplished. On to part two, playing it off. So for the next two days, I got up early, just as usual, got to the bus stop. Just Where did you go? Did you go back home? Instantly. Then got back to the crib and chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So after two days of pulling this off, everything was cool. I got back to school. My parents didn't know, and I got away with it. What could go? That'd be fucking ten. Then came the parent-teacher conference. Ah now, shit! Now my parents didn't always attend the meeting, but on <clears> this particular <throat> day, when left, so I really go to the conference. Um, no, Dad, <coughs> I'm not feeling well. What's wrong? My stomach hurts really bad. I just go by myself then. Oh, that's even worse. I got a kid pops away from Mr. Johnson. No, I mean, Dad, <coughs> I can tough it out. So we get to school, get through the conference. Yeah, I hated that shit. Pops away from Mr. Johnson. Okay, I don't see anyone here yet. So my dad completes chatting with my other teachers, and things couldn't be better. My grades were exceptional, and my pops couldn't be prouder. Then I heard, so you must have been dead. Oh, that's fucked. I'm back, and it's Mr. Johnson. Yes, I am. Nice to finally meet you. Okay, Tim, play it cool. Maybe Mr. Johnson's forgotten all about it. I hear Tim's grades are exceptional. Yes, I'm very proud of him. Seems like he must have learned from the last time. Hope he didn't go too hard on the little guy for the suspension. So, Nah. We talked on the phone the other day. Tim, you were suspended? So, my guy, I got one question for you. What would you do? Come clean in front of your dad and Mr. Johnson or tonight? So, I, I did not do I don't know what Mr. Johnson's talking about. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, sir, but Tim was suspended for panting another student. Oh, he was, huh? Immediately, my dad decides it's time for us to leave. Now, this nah, this you're fucked. God real. See, I knew my pops was put hands on me all the way to the crib. But oh no. See, this time, for some reason, my pops was quiet. Damn, pops even said a word. So I figured, you know what? For the first time in my life, I'm going to come clean. So I explained the whole scenario to my dad and made him understand that this was the most embarrassing moment of my life. So we get to the house and my dad walks away. Still, without saying a word. Okay, this is weird. I still haven't said a word to me. See, for the first time in my life, I saw my dad was truly disappointed in me. He went from being the most proudest dad on the planet on one moment That's to fucked. being the most disappointed. Damn, Pops, no yelling, no whooping. I don't know what to do. I went to a room and let Pops down. So I decided to go to my Pops and apologize. Dad, I'm sorry for getting suspended. I didn't think you would understand. Son, it's not the suspension that disappoints it's me. The it's the lie. It's the lying and deceiving. Mm. I thought I taught you better. Sorry, Dad. You did. I promise not to do it again. I'll do better next time. And from that moment, my father could see that his young boy was finally the You still got your ass beat, didn't you? Accepted, son. Thanks, Dad. And I told you <coughs> to fetch me a switch. What? Oh, you thought I was just gonna let you go free? Oh no, my boy. We're gonna play a little fancy game of our own. What the hell? So, moral of the story. Honesty is often very hard, and the truth is often painful. But the freedom it brings is worth the trial. Hey man, if you're doing that race, make sure you like and subscribe.